In this experiment, we will demonstrate the importance of chlorophyll in photosynthesis. Uh, when the leaf will undergo photosynthesis, it will produce carbohydrates and it will store them as starch. The photosynthesis requires carbon dioxide, requires light, and requires chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is the green pigments here. Those leaves are not totally green. They have uh, this middle part, which is uh, white in color, and they have uh, this purple part. These are not chlorophyll. And we expect the leaves in this area to not be capable of undergoing photosynthesis. If that's correct, then the starch will be concentrated only in these areas. What I'm gonna do now is I will dip those leaves in boiling ethanol to remove their pigments their chlorophyll and uh, the purple pigment as well. When this happens, I will remove the two leaves. I will dip them in hot water. The uh, ethanol will give them uh, dryness, will dry the leaf. It will become too uh, brittle. I will put it in distilled water, hot water, to give it some flexibility. And then I will put the leaves in uh, glass petri dishes and I will cover them with iodine. Iodine will detect for me the presence of starch. So the areas where the leaf was undergoing photosynthesis uh, must become dark blue, and the areas where the leaf is not uh, undergoing photosynthesis should not become dark blue. It's gonna take a minute for those leaves to lose all their pigments. You see the ethanol starts becoming uh, green in color, which means that the leaf is losing its pigments. Uh, we will leave it for a minute before removing them. So the leaves has lost their colors. I will pick them up put them quickly in hot water to give them some flexibility and transfer them directly to the glass petri dish. This is leaf number one and this is the second leaf. So as you can see, the leaf has lost its uh, pigmentation. It's white now. And almost all of it. The green is totally gone, the chlorophyll is totally gone, and even the purple. Uh, I will cover it with iodine to see what's gonna happen. Give it a few seconds before reading the results. The result of this leaf start becoming clear. You can see it on the, white, on the white background now. Look here. This is the area that was green. This is the area that had chlorophyll. And this is the middle that was white and purple. There was no chlorophyll. When I added the iodine, I have proof that the formation of a starch has occurred only in the green area. Uh, therefore, the photosynthesis ha has occurred only uh, on the periphery and the not, the absence of the chlorophyll did not allow the photosynthesis to take place. The same result was observed with the second leaf, see? Green areas are now dark blue in color, indicating the presence of a starch, while the middle where uh, we lacked the chlorophyll, the photosynthesis did not take place.